right, here on Billy Farms, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this old pallet that we recovered from my lumber yard. I'm gonna try to get it to fit underneath the, the fuel tank that we bought used from the auction. So that way I can use this to tractor to lift this up, put it in the trunk and be able to take it down, get fuel, bring it back and put it in here without actually having to attach it to my truck. And then that way, if we ever need it in the field or wherever else we may need this, I can pick it up and make it more mobile. So that's what we're gonna do today. So here we are. So all I wanna do is just kind of beef it up across the bottom. Otherwise, this looks like it's pretty, pretty good uh, shape for a used pallet. Once we get this beefed up, we'll put the tank on here. We'll try to secure it down to the pallet and then take and get some fuel. some old two by fours that are left over from other projects. Uh, as you can see, there's concrete on this one. I used it as a form for something else. So now I'm just gonna use them here. All right, so now I just gotta get some screws. All right, so what I got is just uh, some old screws left over from another project also. So we're gonna go ahead and try to secure this down. bottom of this we need to set the tank on there and then secure it down I think that's gonna be our our mobile fuel tank to be able to carry enough fuel out working in the pasture doing whatever chores we need to get done so last thing I got to do is get some straps to secure it down and then we'll take it and fill it up okay so went to the store when I needed to pick up picked up some galvanized strap hangers so basically there's a couple of lips and I'll show you those in a minute that come out from underneath the fuel tank I'm gonna go ahead and strap those down with this I'm also gonna use a rapid strap to connect it to the pallet so there's a little gap between the toolbox and the fuel tank itself it has a gap so I'm gonna go ahead and use the ratchet strap to come around there and underneath the pallet and also on the back I'm gonna go ahead and use a scrap 2x4 and I'll probably use the remainder of whatever's left uh, on the front just to kind of pinch it in from the rear and the front and then strap the two little lips that are hanging off so these are the lips that I was talking about where I'm gonna use that strap to go over and then I'll screw those down to kind of hold it. In the back, what I want to do is right along this side here is I'm going to put that two by four here to keep it from sliding back and I'll put the remainder on the front. So with all that said, let's get to it.
we're just going to secure this down. Finishing touch to the palette. So we're going to add this a little more stability with the remainder of that 2x4 in the front. That was a little tougher than expected. So if you look, take and you set your screw up, take this little sleeve, pull it over. And that helps to stabilize it so you don't have to hold it so much. All right. So that should pretty well hold it on but I'm gonna ratchet strap down for extra security. Now you can see the little groove that comes in between the toolbox and the fuel tank itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a ratchet strap around this and the pallet to go ahead and give it just a little more security. If no one's ever talked to you about ratchet straps, best way to do it is to come through the front, making sure the handle's out here because you're going to have to work the handle. But if you're going to take your excess, come through the back, going through the little channel that's there. All right, now here, you're wanting to pull this, get as much of the slack out as you can. I'm going to close this up like this. Now, I'm going to take the rest of this excess. Like this. And then I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to make a loop. Right here. And I'm gonna stick the excess through the loop, pull it tight, and load it on the truck.
there we go. Let's get it to the store. Let's fill her up. Alright, so here we go. Four fifty eight a gallon or eleven gallons. Now we're gonna see how bad this gets. Billy Farms, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you in the future.